Hello and welcome to episode 11 of this Boy Knits podcast. Welcome back for all my returning subscribers and hello if this is your first time viewing me. You can find me on the big worldwide tinternet as this boy or David Rakes on Instagram. I have an Etsy shop which is this boy and you can find me on Ravelry as the Spoy Knits. I'll put all the links down below. Um, I'm trying to be more organised today. I've got a timer going. I've set it for 18 minutes so I can pause and, well, stop and start again because there's a 20 minute limit. And a few times now it cuts off mid sentence and you've got to start again and figure out where it was or what you were talking about. So, yeah, just recovering from Worldwide Knitting Public Day. Um, it looked like it was a big success. Um, Eva Christie had organised it at Perth Museum. Um, really nice venue. Um, couldn't have asked for a more cultured spot. And then she did a bit of enabling by taking me down to the fabric shop, which is called the Peacock and the Tortoise. And I think she said that's on George Street. Um, and a cute little bead shop. So I had a lovely day, ended up at a gin bar. I don't drink, so I had some Coca-Cola and something to eat. Um, but the amount of gin they had, just if, if you're a gin drinker and you're local, go there. Um, it's called The Venue. Really nice place. Um, it's quite new, it used to be some Irish pub. Um, if you need more details, have a look at Eva's podcast, um, episode 11. She talks about it a bit more there. Um, personal life work's been quite busy. Um, in order to progress as a biomedical scientist, you're expected to finish portfolios. So when I first started the job, I had to finish something called a registration portfolio, which is a collection of evidence and answered standards and questions. Um, kind of a generic overview of a lab and discuss regulatory bodies like we're, we're governed by the, HS, the HCPC, the Healthcare Professions Council as well as the Institute of Biomedical Scientists, uh, Science. Um, so I did the registration portfolio and then a year ago I started, a year ago? Something like that. I started my specialist portfolio which is much more in depth, um, but it goes more into the pathology of hematological disorders, um, red cells, white cells, um, platelets, lots of more in depth details as well as how our analyzers work. Um, so that's kind of stalled. I haven't managed to do much of it since my mini stroke. But I'm back on the ball and that's progressing so that's quite exciting. I'm looking forward to getting my teeth back into that. Um, Max is fine. Max is here. He's having a wee sleep. Um, I thought I'd get him on the podcast since Eva's not here so it feels weird being back on my own. Um, I really enjoyed the joint podcast and I can see why joint podcasters do it more often because much more interaction, she says something, I react, I say something, she reacts, it's funny, it's spontaneous. Yeah, so it was quite good fun, so I definitely, we'll definitely need to do something like that again and maybe between like the five podcasters in Scotland that I'm aware of um, can do something. And at Perth um, Worldwide Net Public Day, I met Louise Luzel. Um, hello, it was really nice to meet her. Um, we've communicated a few times, she's bought some bronze goddess, um, we're f uh, friends on Instagram, um, I finally figured out her username. I couldn't figure out what Thistle W was until I realised it is, and my shame as a Scottish person is it's Thistle Do You. Thistle, I do, and you. Do means black and you as in the sheep. So I had an epiphany there when she told me what I actually meant. But it was really nice to meet her. Um, she's thinking of starting a podcast and I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Um, I'd love to hear more about your business. Um, she makes them um, dryer balls, which are dense balls of felted fabric, uh, felted wool. And they help soften the clothes and they absorb static electricity. Um, I'll find a link for her business, if I remember, I'll put it down below. You can go and check that out because I'm going to go and buy some. 
um, and I participated in the uh, mini skein swap. So I got Drops Fable Sea Mist print. Yeah, it's not really going to show up too well. I'll put a picture in. So this one was from Lou. Um, it's very cute. I've used Drops Fable before. Um, it's nice enough to knit up. So this will be going into my project, which I'll show you shortly. And I got this one, which is the Yarn Yard Colorways Clan. And it's very, it's quite unusual. It's a greeny taupe colour. It's definitely higher end wool. It's, I'm pretty sure it's superwash merino. Um, again, I'll insert a picture, but it's nice to kind of a greeny to a taupe fawny colour, and there's just splashes of oranges and green. It's a nice earthy colour. So, the, also going into my next project. So, we shall move on to whips. And as I've alluded, there's not many things you would be doing with these um, minis. I have caved in to peer pressure, only kidding, um, and started a cosy memories blanket. So, this one is mine. It's, it differs very slightly. Um, I'll talk about the colours first. So, this one is Rusty Ferret in the colour Cosmic Soup. I just love that name. Mark. Leona's other half named it. The blue is a uh, Rico and it's Las Vegas number five colour, it's something like that. It's on Eva's podcast. I'll have another quick look back and I'll insert the name here. And then this colour is another Rusty Ferret and this is Neptunian Dreams. Um, I'm not sure how well it will show up. It was very blue on Eva's one, so I'm not sure if the colour will blow out or not on this, but it's more of a green. Um, think of under the sea with seaweeds and corals and you've got this colourway. So yeah, I'm, th I'm on my third square, so I have technically two finished objects, which are squares, and a whip. Um, my other whips are my socks, which you've seen, they really haven't progressed very far. I'm feeling very guilty for not giving them love, but that was my progress the last time we spoke. Again, it's um, Suits Are Not For Everyone from The Cozy Knitter, which is Christina from The Die Another Day Girls. Um, just the little slip stitch pattern I've talked about before. So they're progressing slowly but surely. And my shawl. My lovely, lovely shawl. Again, not massive amounts. Just get this lid out. Colours again. Dark blue is Hedgehog Skinny Single in ink. The grey is um, Avalon Steel from this boy. The green is Chartreuse from this boy. And the blue bell, uh, sorry, the blue colour is Blue Bell is Bluebell and that's this boy yarn as well. So where I'm at at the moment you can see the very unusual shape it's forming given the name Wave Like. Um, Stephen West pattern. Progress is back onto the colour A which is the dark blue colour um, which then encapsulates the green of the chartreuse and the Bluebell. And I'm now at the very long, repetitive rows. So it's, it's definitely um, Netflix knitting. And that's it for works in progress. Um, acquisitions. So Dave's been busy. Uh, we've now got every single Jacquard die there is, as well as some others, some Dharma. Um, neon colours and some World of Wool I think it's called, I'm forgetting the name now. Um, so he has organised them all by numbers, there are 603-613-623-633. Um, I've got a little drawer system, they're all very neatly put away and what he's done is dye a little 10, wrap the wool around your arm 10 times, so not even a mini, it's just some wool and he's dyed each colour for me. 
very generous of him. What I've started doing is just knitting them up into little rectangles and I can put a link on the shop um, and for anyone that wants to uh, request colours, I'm open to that, any custom colourways, I enjoy doing them, um, they can pick the colour they want and they can say they want a mix of two, it's up to you, the customer is always right. Um, with the only proviso that if you want this custom colourway, you have to pay for it basically at the end. Um, not that they would be paying for it, but if no matter what it turns out, unless it's an absolute disaster, then what they've asked for is what I'll provide and that will be their purchase. Um, so yeah, that was acquisition. So while I was up there buying some more blank wool, I just bought a small ball of DK because it's what I started using. Um, I treated myself to some sock wool. Now, these probably will never be made into socks. What I've bought them for is to make into minis um, for sock blankets. So this is a Regia. Um, I've never used Regia before, it's, apart from possibly that's the Las Vegas one. Um, it just says four fadi color. Um, it's seventy five percent superwash wool and twenty five percent polyamide, but it doesn't have a color rate. I'm very confused. I did buy two balls. The other one's been misplaced. I'm not sure where, but that's one. And thanks to Helen uh, Sprite nine nine six. I'm probably getting those numbers wrong. And Christina the cozy knitter. I have purchased some zings. Now, I do have a DPN collection in the Cubics, uh, Nova Cubics. I've lost one of the other sets uh, in the Cubics. Um, and this is, I've gone for a 4mm pair. And I have to say, I'm not overly impressed. I mean, they arrived super fast. I bought them on Etsy. Um, actually from someone in Scotland, I didn't realise until I was at the checkout. But the join! It's horrific! Now Helen was talking about this. Knit Pro, what are you doing? The, I've never had Knit Pros with this kind of join before. I mean, to move along slowly with my thumbnail, I can't progress past it without quite a lot of effort. And that's going to be horrible to knit on. I'm going to try it. I mean, I love the needles, but the join. I'm not happy. Not happy. This is exactly what Helen was talking about. Um, so yeah, I'll have to wait and see. And I've got a... Okay, so the memory card was full and it cut off. So yeah, not happy. They're very cute, very colourful. We'll see how the join goes, but I'm not overly... I'm not holding out much hope that I'll be using them. More than just to test them. Um... So what's next? The other bag is one of my most favourite fabrics I've had in a while. And it's so cute. Again, I'm not sure how it'll show up. I'll hold it next to my face since I'm in focus. So it's basically white sheet made out of balls of wool. And it's so cute. Um, it's got little washing instructions. It's got grey ball, gray ball of wool with the red needles. And it's got red balls of wool as well. Um, so this is a four skein bag, this is the larger, largest of the bags I do, um, it has a cream interior, um, a nice red zip, I have got lots of different coloured zips, I've got grey, black, white and red to all coordinate with the colours in here. Um, I picked these up on Etsy Tuesday morning, yesterday morning, and this one sold in less than five minutes, it's not an exaggeration, less than five minutes a sale came through and the girl had said she was waiting on me putting these up so she must have saw them on Instagram. So thank you for your purchase, it will be leaving with you to, for you today. And she's also from Scotland. So yeah, um, this one did have a label which has disappeared into the box bottom, um, so it's a bit too late to add it onto this one, um, but I now know where to place them for the rest of them. So that's that one. So they, that's the sh mini shop update. Um, as I was saying, I haven't dyed any new colourways. I've been too busy dyeing up um, into the purple heather where you go, lassie go, and bronze goddess. So yeah, let's talk about the giveaway. So oddly, there was only 10 entries in the last giveaway for this. Oops. Hang on. It's just got caught in a zip. 
for the Wiz. So I'm not going to bother showing it more than that. Um, I'm just going to go to a random number generator. There were 10 entries. So between 1 and 10 generate and the lucky number is 7. And thread number 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Helga, well done. Um, I'm going to message you just now. Now, if I'm right, Helga ordered Bronze Goddess from me previously, so she's a previous customer. Well done, you are the winner. Post. Now, she knows, or at least she will do it as soon as she catches up on her Etsy. So, Helga, well done. Let's arrange shipping details. So, this is maybe just me being um, inexperienced. But I'm having difficulty figuring out how to charge the people the postage. So what I've had to do is go into my Etsy shop, post it up separately. This one is okay because there's only one of them. Um, reduce the cost of the wool to, I think, 99 pence is the lowest. And then the postage, is remain, the postage remains the same. Um, so yeah, this is how we're probably going to have to do it, Helga, until I can figure out another way to do it. I just want to mention one more thing. The winner of the last giveaway, um, Knit Girl Knits, um, has been in contact. Now I posted off her wool, I think she said it was four days ago, I can't remember the, the exact date. Um, the cheapest postage I can offer is, I don't make any money off the postage, so if you're international, like um, USA or Canada, it's five pound, from my point of view, five pound ten pence. And that is, I think that takes about a week. I haven't included adding tracking because that's almost double the price. So from my point of view, you would be paying £10 for postage on a skin of wool that's worth 10 or 15, 12 to 15 pounds. Um, I haven't included it in. So she was asking, she wasn't pressuring me. I am not feeling um, harassed, nothing. This is not what I'm talking about. But it was sent just bog standard Royal Mail. That's our postal service main one um, Royal Mail and that's how it was posted off if oh, excuse me if um, anyone wants wishes to apply a tracking number then message me when you're going to the checkout and we can arrange something differently um, I'm happy enough to do that as I say the cost is on you um, I can only apologize to I think her name's Laura I feel really bad I'm gonna just go into my conversations. Laura, um, I can only apologise, I just really hope it's with you soon and I have included a little something extra in there for you for all your trouble, um, well for your patience. Um, but I promise it has been posted and I'm sure, fingers crossed, it will be with you very soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to put that in about the postage. So I am nearly at 300 subscribers. Um, which I am over the moon about. Um, I was going to hold off doing a giveaway, but do you know what? I enjoy doing them, and that's that's really the main thing. Um, this boy podcast. I'm trying to see. You know, it doesn't show me on my YouTube app how many subscribers it was. Helpful. It was somewhere near 270, um, and it's just going up and up. So this one is Shattered Prism, which I showed last week. Um, it has a bluebell, the bottom half of the skin is bluebell, which is what you're seeing going twisting through, and the top half is sprinkled. Um, I'm going to test knit my sh uh, cowl and my scarf, or one of them, in the this colourway, um, just to see the effect, but I want to give this one away. So I shall open up a thread on Ravelry for a Broken Prism giveaway, a Shattered Prism giveaway. Um, again, only enter if you're happy enough to pay for postage. Um, it's a really nice colourway, I have to say. It's got pops of reds and oranges, yellows, teals, forest green, and then this really, and I've carried some of the sprinkles over into the bluebell, and then it's got some bluebell sprinkles in the white. Again, I will put lots of pictures up 
probably more than you need, but I just want to show just how cute this colourway is. Um, it was a lot of fun to dye. I haven't done too much of sprinkles, um, but I definitely think it's something I'll continue trying because um, it's a lot of fun. And because of the sprinkles over the white, um, it's just taken on a slightly off-white hue, so it's not stark quite as it might have been. So yeah, do a giveaway for that. So that will be on Ravelry as of today. So the June one for the Wiz is closed, and I will just label this one Shattered Prism Giveaway. Um, just want to give out some pod love. Um, hello Inga. Um, I know she's been watching. Um, I'm still watching yours. The last one was really cute. Um, a lot of fun. Um, Eva, of course, Eva Christie hand knits, hand knitting. I get that wrong every time. Um, I was watching Hugh Loco, um, her latest, Nicole's latest episode. I missed completely the last episode when she said she was pregnant, right over my head. Um, so congratulations to her. Um, I wish her all the happiness. Um, good for her, she's standing up for herself, she's dying a roll but she's taken every single precaution which we all do, but she's taking more than she probably needs to, um, just to ensure the safety of her baby and I hope no one is giving her a hard time for doing something that she believes is safe enough with her massive mask, gloves up to here, apron on, skin protected. Good for you. Um, I watched um, Lara's latest one, um, she's Jinx Yarns, um, the Doors, Dyer's Notebook, um, I've been watching her for a long time, she was one of the real, excuse me while I get more comfortable, she was one of the real inspirations for me being able to dye, her and Nicole, to dye and be able to make a podcast about it and show off the knitting that I love and do things like project bags, um, it's just so much fun, um, I take my hat off to those two. Um, they have made, they've managed to build a very successful business out of it and I can only hope to achieve like a fragment of what they've achieved. Um, who else? Now I have just subscribed to a very good Australian podcast, um, Bluebell? Uh, it came up on my um, to watch list and I realised after watching Eva's yesterday that it's because she's been watching her. Um, so I sent her a little message just telling her how much I loved her podcast. And oh, let's just see if I can find it on here. It's something like Bluebell Farm. And I'm sure I've subscribed. Subscribed. Um, okay, I can't see it here. I shall put the link in below, but I love the Australian accent. I really do. I really. I don't know. I'm gonna do that. Um, who else? Eric, of course. Sticks plus twine. Now, Eric, I'm gonna get in contact because I realised that the skin of wool I dyed for you is sitting in the drawer, and it wasn't until I was going through for my minis that I realised I had dyed. It's the one Eva was talking about. Um, I kind of did it a test dye to see if the colours would match and how I was going to apply them, if it was going to do resistance or anything like that. So the skein of wool that was dyed in honour of you for you is in the drawer, so I will be in touch. Um, Katie from num Inside Number 23, I watch hers. Um, and I think that's about it. Somebody, I was so impressed, I'm not impressed, I was so like wowed when Inked Indigo added me and started following me on Instagram. Now she is from, I'm gonna get this wrong so I'm not gonna say anything at the moment. I want to see the Periscoping Sisters. Yes, I was right. I was gonna say that first. It's the Periscoping S Sisters and she started liking some of my posts and even mentioned the cat bag um, thinking of Mina. Um, Mina's someone I've been trying to kind of make contact with without kind of sending a right out message to her. But I think I might just do that and I'll maybe send her a cat bag um, and see if I can get a shout out from her. Um, she's kind of like the, she's the podcasting royalty. Um, 
if she gives you the nod then everything's okay. Knit alongs. Um, the knit along that Kirsty from Little Bee Podcast and I are doing um, is going fine. Um, we haven't had too much contact because it's, everything's laid out. So it's still ahead for going um, going live on the 1st of July. Um, so that one. I have checked the date and I cast on my shawl one week before Eva and uh, Charlotte's knit along started. Um, so that will be getting entered into their, po uh, their knit along, the subway one. As well as the squares, I mean I don't think I've even barely left the station, but I'll try. Like Eva says, it's not about the winning, it's just about the taking part. Um, if anyone can recommend any other knit alongs that are about to start that you know of, or have just started, then let me know, because I'm looking to join in. Um, who else? I'm just giving all the podcasting love today, because it's not something I've done. So of course there's uh, Kirsty and Charlotte, they're both in Glasgow, or Kirsty's just outside Glasgow. Um, I keep up with Kirsty on Instagram more now, um, just because I'm loving Instagram. I don't know how I got by without it. Um, Charlotte Knits as well. I shall make sure I'm putting all these in the show notes and down below. Mina from the Knitting Expat. Hugh Loco. I'm probably missing a ton of people. The Die Another Day Girls. Um, oh, and I got an answer about the Get Lit and Knit. I was completely unaware that Get Lit in America means to have a drink. So it makes so much more sense now. Penny dropped. Having a total of one moment. And what's this one? Oh no, that's that's part of my allotment videos selection. So yeah, that's that's the pod love. Um, I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, if you want to enter the giveaway, get in touch on Ravelry. Um, so this week, I think I'll just be making some bags and dying wool. Today's my day off. Um, I have to go to the allotment at some point um, just to check on things. I'm not really up for any gardening without Dave there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I shall see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye!